I'm Renee and this is James. Our story is a beautiful story about redemption. In 1991, James was born and we were delighted to have a son, but shortly thereafter, James began demonstrating developmental delays and our fears grew. And at the age of eight months, James was diagnosed with a disorder, a developmental disorder that was genetic and it was an X-linked chromosome mental retardation disorder. And when we received that um, diagnosis, it was devastating. But we were believers in God and in Jesus Christ. And through that period of time, even though we were grieving and very hurt that our son would have a disability, we also knew that God was faithful. And as time progressed, and I really felt guilt because I had other family members that had been diagnosed with several palsy, and now we could put the whole puzzle together and know that this was genetic, I felt tremendous guilt. And I remember when James was about 15 months old, reading a scripture in the Bible found in the New Testament in John 9, and Jesus is walking with his disciples and they're at the temple in Jerusalem, and they look down and they see a man born blind. And they ask Jesus, whose fault is this? Is it the man's fault or his parents? And Jesus looks at the man, and he looks at his disciples, and he says, this is neither. This has happened so that the glory of God can be displayed. After I read that verse, I knew that James's life had a great purpose, and I started celebrating his life, and I started learning how the culture values a different set of um, principles than God's word. And one of those values is that people are valued by according to what they can do, whether they're a football player that has enormous talent and gets paid millions of dollars, or a movie star, or someone that is very wealthy. In the world society, those people are highly valued and are very popular. But in God's eyes, all people have equal value. And James's life is a demonstration of that value. Even though James is nonverbal and is limited in his physical abilities, he has as much value as any of those I previously described. He is valuable in God's eyes because he is a child of God and all people have equal value. And that is what's great about the good news or the gospel is that we have all have a sin problem. We are all separated from Christ, from God. But God loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins because he wants us all to be his children. I'm Renee Parker with James Parker, and this is the gospel, and there's nothing greater.